Hi everybody, it's me, I'm Matt Hawes of The Happy Show. If I look hot right now, it's because I am hot. I just got back from uh, picking up a package and due to a number of circumstances, I, I just had to deal with the heat and <laughs> getting it back here to my place. Oh no, there's like a bump on the corner. But anyway, what this is, this is the CGC uh, books that I talked about in another video that I ordered. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it here. And this is funny because this was actually... I guess technically my first unboxing video. I actually did boxing up videos, like when I boxed up the Amazing Fantasy 15 that I sent off and the Incredible Hope number one I sent off a number of years back, over 10 years ago or whatever. So I've done boxing up videos, but I haven't actually done unboxing videos. And I will go ahead and put this disclaimer in the beginning. I do I do already know the grades to the books. I couldn't help it, I, I couldn't resist. I checked and saw and I'm not entirely thrilled, but I'm not entirely upset either because I, I you know, went through a, a selection of books I had and, and thought they looked you know, pretty nice. And I generally grade stricter than CGC, but they are really picky on giving 9.8s and higher. And so you'll see that with this. Like I said, I already know what the grades are, but I still figure I'd go ahead and unbox it and show you guys. And again, I hope this is in all right shape because... Uh, that's another thing. You, you don't have to just worry about how long it's going to take. Which, by the way, this really didn't take long to grade them. You know, I've heard it takes anywhere, usually it seems at least three months. This was under two months that they got it to me. So I'll give them credit for that. Of course, they were all the same age. or modern age books. And, um, you know, they're the, you know most of them are the same book, you know, you'll see here in a second. I sent off ten books. Seven of them are the same title. And then the other three are individually different titles. Uh, one of the books I sent almost just at arbitrarily, to be honest. I thought, you know, it had some value to it. It was a nice looking book, I thought. So I went ahead and just sent it. It's more, it's the most modern of the modern. The rest, the other two are technically considered modern, but they're well over 25 years old. Actually, 30, 30 years old and older. They need, to, they need to come up with a new term for when, when the modern age begins because you can't consider a 30 year old book modern, but they do. Um, you know, still. So anyway, I'm getting ready to open this. And like I said, you already got enough concern with whenever you send the books in. You got to be concerned, like, you know, how long it's going to take to turn around. Are you going to be waiting a year to get your back your books and all this stuff? I didn't pay to get, I didn't pay any extra services, I should also point out. I didn't pay for pressing or any of that crap. I think, if I'd be honest with you, I think that's kind of a, a I want to use a polite word, but, you know, that, that's, it seems a little screwy. I'm trying to be, like I said, polite and not use a certain word that starts with an S and ends with an M. But, you know, to, 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 for a company that grades comics, to, to, to give you an option to press them in the beginning, well, to give you a, a give you incentive to do so, it's almost like saying, well, we'll give you a higher grade if you pay us to press us. One of the reasons, let me just stop. I'm, I'm keeping the suspense going here with these books. One of the reasons why I... Uh, uh, you know, didn't use CGC for all these years. I've only used it one time, other time in 20 something years, 20 years, however long. It was back, I just looked at this recently. It was like 2006, 2005, six somewhere in the area. And that was the last time, the only time I used it. And I used it to grade three books. Now you can probably hear me better because my errors went off. I could probably turn off the air during the course of this, but it's hot. So hopefully you can hear me okay over it. I sent three books I explained in my uh, previous video. Uh, one was a lark, just a total lark. It sounds funny to blow money on a lark, but what the hell? Back then, they weren't as expensive to ship either or to pay for. Uh, and they, and there's no such thing as this pressing crap going around. Uh, so anyway, I, I sent a, a life story of David Ladd just because I thought it was humorous that they did a life story about a 12-year-old who was an actor and some stuff. You know, his dad was famous, uh, Alan Ladd. He was a famous cowboy actor, predominantly a cowboy actor, I think, back in those days. And he was he was a name, uh, name star back then. He's not remembered as well by many people today. But regardless, his son made A Dog of Flanders, I think, and maybe a couple other children's movies or maybe even starred a few other movies that were adult movies. Not adult, adult, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know, but he certainly didn't deserve a life story book. So I think because Alan Ladd did have enough cachet, maybe Dell Comics decided to kiss his butt and give his son a book. Who knows? I don't know. I don't care. But anyway, I thought it was funny, and that's why I sent that one in and got it graded because I also figured, which was true at the time, 
that if I sent in, no matter what grade, it could be the worst looking book you ever saw, it still was going to be the highest graded book of that of that comic. Because who the hell else would have ever graded? It? Eventually, somebody else did. I found out, but still, you know, it's just funny to me. Um, you know, at the time, I, I was the highest graded comic of it, and it was like a mid grade or something. I sent in Living with Zombies number four because that's my first comic book appearance, and actually got looked down the label. And then I sent in a Marvel Superhero Secret Wars 7, as I recall, the first appearance of, in, the, in terms of the chronological story, the first appearance of the Black Alphabet Spider-Man War that became, in the symbiote that eventually became Venom. Uh, so those three were the last ones I sent off, and that was years and years ago. Like I said, we were talking about 20 years ago, now we're close enough to it. Uh, anyway, so um, this, so these books, I did decide to send in to see about, you know, uh, resale value and stuff. And I, I was debating, is it, does it make sense not? So I got a number of certain books that you'll see. Does it make sense not to do it? Is it more sensible to do it as a dealer, even though my own personal feelings is I don't really support slabbing in the strictest sense? But what I feel as a fan and, and a fan of the industry Sometimes I have to kind of put on a back burner when it comes to just simply selling because selling you got to sell and you've got to get the public what they want and that's my opinion. I don't oppose my opinion on other collectors just like I don't tell them what to read. My opinion as a fan is such and such title might be a boring dud but am I going to tell the person that was buying it from me? No. I mean if they ask me for my review I'll give them an honest review but I won't you know I won't be one of these jerks that you bring it up to the counter, and I go, Psh, you got that book? I won't do that. First off, your taste is different than mine. I'll also be honest with you, I do want to sell it, but I don't want to be disingenuous about it. I'll be honest with you if you ask me, but without being cruel about it. But that's what I'm saying, is there's differences. That, you know, like you handle things differently because you're in a different position. As a dealer, you've got to handle things a bit more tactfully, a bit more diplomatically, and also a bit more sensibly. And sensibly for me as a dealer is, if it makes sense to invest in get some books slabbed, then it makes sense. But the truth is, I, I, I wasn't, even though they were very quick uh, by everybody else's word, like I said, on getting these to me. Uh, and I'll see what the grades and if they mess up anything or anything like that. Uh, I mean, I know what the grades are, but I'll see, like, you know, if the cases, I've heard horror story about the cases being put in the wrong cases or the cases being put in wrong where it crushes the corners or something. I hopefully none of that nightmare would come, and none of the nightmare would come that would just, the cases are cracked or anything. So right now, that's the big that's the big suspense for me more than the books, because like I said, I already know the books and the grades. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start opening this, and uh, it's you know it, it, it seems to be tightly packed for the most part. Like so I see dents on here, like this like the one I'm pointing out again. I see that. Um, Trying to see if there's any other signs of damage. No, not nothing. Not the major. And this, this, depending on how they pack it, may not have done anything. And depending on how blunt the force was, when what that created that. So hopefully not, because I really don't want to mess with CGC beyond this thing. Uh, other than other than one thing, I mentioned another video, and I have a a picture, a color photo, a, a photograph I colorized of a 1945 newsstand with comic books and all that they asked me for permission to use that in their grading guide which i've given them permission to do so and they're supposed to credit me i'm supposed to get comp copies and all that well i'm you know if if, if uh you know other than dealing with them with that situation i don't know and it's not against even if these are graded you know i mean like grading subjectives and i already again know the grades i know why they graded the, the way they graded the according they did get some notes on some of them but even so, I just I just think it is more of just a a ploy, you know, to get you to send more stuff like in the grading, you know, having all the stuff that they do. That I just I just don't really feel comfortable doing it. Uh, I mean, I'll still pick up collections to have it. Okay, now here's okay. That's a nice thing. I see. I didn't know how they packed these. I've never. No, well, I got that one shipment, but it was back in 2006, and I'm sure there's changes in the way they pack things now. Uh, so this part did seem to take the blunt from that corner, which is a good thing because because even on this inside, um, I don't want to move the camera around too much, but on the inside you can see some of the creases that blunt blunt caused that. Okay, I'm gonna lift these up 
in, in order of uh, grades, probably. I, I don't know, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten of them. Anyway, they're, they're sandwiched in between these, so that's kind of cool. Like I said, I didn't have any idea how they do this. So I'm just going to stick, uh, I'm going to go out with the, the most well-known book. I mean, the one I got several copies of. And I'll show you here in a second. Take that, they come individually, you know, with these wrappers. I'm also looking for, sometimes you hear about these uh, Windsor circles. I'm purposely not trying to show you this book. And this one doesn't have that. This one seems to be secure. Okay, you might see me flip that. It's Wolverine number one. I, this was a 9.4. And to me, it's, it's a really beautiful copy. And, um, okay, they don't put the notes, they don't put the notes on, uh, the thing, but they said, uh, on 9.4s, they said there was a slight stack, a stacking, not a crease, but whatever, which I, I see, I mean, when we're talking slight, they, they are talking slight here. Yeah, you, I mean, maybe you can see that in the light. Maybe there is. And that is, of course, something I could have got pressed out. I think that's one of those things that's easily to get pressed out. But yeah, I see it's stacking, stacking, stacking bend is what they call it, which I think they mean when books are stacked upon it, it creates this bend into the, the cover. I see that slight bend now. <laughs> I didn't see it when I sent it. <laughs> I looked really close and hard. But anyway, um, it's very slight. It is, you know, and, and pressing would get it out. And I, so I could have probably got 9.8 had I paid them to do the pressing. That's debatable if it would have been worth it because somebody will say, well, Matt, 9.8, you would have got, you put it online, you get this much for it. It would have made up for the pressing. It might have. I don't know. Um, it probably would have, but because if that was one of the few things that was given us that grade. Now I'm going to let you know, the 9 point, or the, the, the worry number one is the one I got seven copies of. I guess I'll release, I don't want to take too much time on this video, but I, I'm thinking I'm going to re, uh, take them all out of the bag just to, first off, to make sure about condition. And secondly, to also um, make sure they don't have Newton rings. Is that what I said earlier? Newtons. I was saying Newton circles or what? Newton rings. And so far, no Newton rings on these two, so that's nice. These are the lower grade ones, 9.4. Now, see, I've already given something away because I told you that I don't got 9.8 in this bunch. So guess what the next grade is? Surprise! If you're, not, if you're familiar with their system, they kind of jump up a little. They don't go point... I mean, I don't I've never heard of a 9.5 or whatever. So guess what? The, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm telling you what the next one is. <laughs> but uh, so, so I got five more of these. And I think... Yeah. There was only two of them that were 9.4s, and they were both because of the stacking bin. There also was, uh, they said on the ones that they did 9.8 is because of a slight, what do they call it? Like, like I guess they consider it fake, but to me, I, I don't see much wrong at all with this. There's a little tanning, that's what it is. There's a slight, very light tanning, I guess, so, yeah, I can, I can kind of see what they're talking about. But I've seen the other stuff that they allow in 9.8. And to be honest with you, they'll allow hairline hairline creases. They'll allow slight, uh, what do they call bindery tears. They'll allow other things in this grade that to me are worse than this very, very light tan that I don't know if you can even see it on camera. And when I say very light, I mean it's very light. So if... So my view, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a person who wants to sell this book, but if you were going to pay 9.8 for a, one that had bindery tear or or those uh, you know spine creases or anything like any any of those, even if they're slight, over something like this, I think you're actually going to do better and have a better looking book this way. I don't think you can get rid of those tans. I don't know if they got some special restoration that can get rid of that tanning. But it's very light, like it's a very light. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not just stressed out because I want to move my book. So it's true. It's, it's so. Uh, oh, I didn't like the sound of that. Make sure that was secure. That 
It almost sounds a snap sound. I was like, don't tell me. You, I bought these things brand new and they already had problems. But now, again, no Newton ring, so, so I've been happy so far about that. I might have just secured it in place. It may have not been fully snapped for some stupid reason. Uh, you only paid them a few hundred bucks, of course. I mean, what what the hell? That's not doing things professionally, people. Anyway, no, but uh, another copy, and another nice looking one. Although the ones, like I said, the 9.6, because of that very, very light. I don't, like I said, I don't know, especially with the lighting on this video, if you can even see it, but it's so damn slight. I get it not getting 9.9, .9, I get it not getting a 10.0, and I could get it not getting 9.8 if I hadn't seen what they have allowed in 9.8. <laughs> It's like, okay, if I haven't seen the, I mean, a bindery tear, an actual tear in the book, no matter how small, or, or hairline creases that don't break color, I, I don't think they can break color, but there's still a hairline crease. This has near hairline crease, nor any little tiny tears. This is the faintest, the faintest little tan line. <laughs> okay. Okay. Enough whining, Matt. That's another one that seems okay, but that seems at the top. <laughs> like maybe they forgot to snap them a little bit again because that one made that sound again. That one. Um, there's those again. See, when I press on it again, it doesn't make that sound. That, that it almost makes me think that, yeah, in the place, it didn't fully secure. But I mean, it's, it's, it's sealed. But maybe there's just a little bit of things pressure needed to apply to die just did and maybe that also so we kept us from getting newton rings though because newton rings i think is some air trap inside of it if i remember correctly i think it's an air trap inside they got they, they got these actually these books are in, sealed inside slabs but they're actually even sealed inside another plastic bag within that a rigid bag got two more of these i'm going to show you now you'll see the the other books yeah i want to make sure i'm showing you the right stuff here Okay, that one didn't make that snap sound, so it was already secure or whatever. And like I said, once I did those, there it doesn't look like there's any defect. It looks like maybe it was that's there was supposed to have been a little bit more pressure applied to it or something. I don't know. But yeah, at least I see what they were talking about online. That somehow, unfortunately, I didn't quite catch as well when I sent them in. <laughs> but uh, but you know, I say okay, okay, I get it there. But these are such beautiful copies, really, overall. I'm trying to keep this thing from falling out as I get more stuff. There's another one. <laughs> okay. Uh, but again, uh, when I do that... Mm. 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 <laughs> anyway, my snap is... But that, 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 I hate to say it yet again, but when you pay this much money... They should make sure everything's in I mean, it doesn't look like it's damaged. It doesn't look like the seal. Bro, it just looked like maybe it was supposed to just apply to a little bit more pressure at the, at the place to fully to, to fully seal it. And it looks like, because I'm thinking, why else is it? Now, like, when I pushed it in, it doesn't make that sound anymore. So, but it shouldn't have made that sound by the time I got it. <laughs> I mean, come on, CGC. You, I don't care. People will say how busy they are and blah, blah, blah. Your whole business. Your whole business is grading the books. Your whole business is grading the books. That's like saying, well, you know, our hamburgers, we forgot to put, you know, meat on it because, you know, we get busy and we forgot to do that sort of thing. No, that don't cop, you know, that don't, that don't go with it. Anyway, I'm trying to think what to show you next. Now I'm down to the final three books and you're like, yay, Matt, this is almost over. This torture is almost over for us. No, but let me move this book around so it don't fall. I'm, I'm thinking, I, I want to show you that one that got the highest grade. But it's actually, I got two books in here. They're actually individual comics, but they're the same actual, they're the same issue. and But not like the Wolverine. They're, you'll see, it's a variant. Let me put it that way. It's a variant. And and so I'm thinking, okay, do I, do I show you that one? Or what? I'm just looking at the top there, making sure they look okay. Do I, do I show you the, the those two because they're in this with two copies of the same books? You already know. You'll already be able to guess what the final book is me doing that way. But also, one of those two books is the highest graded. So that's why I want to show it to you last. So I'm going to go ahead and go with 
the next to last thing, because they've got 9.6. Not quite sure what got you 9.6, because this one didn't have greater notes. And uh, I'm just looking here to see if there's any little, I, maybe a slight, yeah, I see a slight little blunt corner, just a little slight bluntness on the corner. I did this just because I thought it'd be interesting to do. Um, it's an art germ cover, Stanley Lau. Uh, Weapons of Mac Mutant Destruction Alpha Number One, and I uh, virgin what they call a virgin cover, meaning there's no uh, text on the cover, no trade text, and um, you know it got 9.6, and I see why. Like I said, I can see a slight blunt on the corner and all that. Even though, even though again, I have seen 9.8 that uh, that was allowable in. Grading is subjective. Now, what I personally, if I was grading, would I allow that? You know, I mean, I'm, I think of myself as stricter so speaking than, than them a lot of times. Not all the time, but a lot of times. Certainly on the lower grades I've seen, I, I think they're, they're not strict enough sometimes on lower grades, particularly of the age. I was always taught by what I read in Overstreet and by guiding standards of the past, based off of Overstreet predominantly, to be honest, that the age doesn't matter. You know, people say, it looks great for its age. It's like, it doesn't matter. Near mint is near mint is near mint. But I've seen them grade 1940s and 50s comics and 60s comics uh, at a higher grade with too many flaws. And we're not just talking about what they call, uh, oh, I'm going blank on the word, uh, not desk copies, whatever. Uh, any other time I can tell you the word, I make a video, I go blank all of a sudden. But but like the, the copies that the company would keep themselves sometimes. They didn't always keep... Uh, like office copies or yeah I cannot think of that word and the other time I could anyway but but sometimes file copies file copies there you go file copies will sometimes have notations or something written by uh, the, the the editors or whatever the company I get that because that's that's pedigree that's history that's all that you know the authentic authenticity because it come from the actual company that published it from the actual editors that worked on it. So I will see, I can see that, you know, getting a higher grade, even though really the pin mark like that, especially not being a signature or whatever, would have been downgraded by anybody uh, else that it had been done. I get those, but I have seen some some uh, older books that were great higher than I think they should be. So what I'm saying is, I'm not disagreeing, even though you've still got a few points there to go before you reach 10.0. I'm not disagreeing that... Uh, necessarily for it getting 9.6 even though really I think it should, could be it could get a 9.8 based off what I have seen them and that's the thing consistency but when you got something as subjective as grading you're gonna have inconsistency um, you know because you got you know these people even the same people grading it day after day they may decide one day they're in a different mood or whatever it really it's really subjective so that's another reason why I have always hesitated to deal with them also but, as I said, this is, uh, I, I was wanting to try out for a while, and hopefully I'll, you know, do all right with, because uh, I did do this for reselling. I'm a, I'm a dealer, I'm a vendor, I was once a retailer at my own shop and everything. Um, so, anyway, uh, but yeah, I think, you know, hopefully, get back my money I put into it. I think I shall, there, there ain't no problem, I don't think, with that. This one, um is the, the last of the, I mean, the second to last one. And you'll see what it is now. It got 9.4. So it, there, all these are still near mint values, but it's Spider-Man number one silver edition by Tom McFarlane. I have so many copies of this. I probably could have gotten another nicer copy. Uh, but this is the one that I chose. I see it's very slight, very slight so that might have gotten it the 9.4. But that's that's it, the 9.4. Now, here's what's interesting. If this is 9.4 with tanning, because I, I, it's hard to tell. That paper sometimes, you know, was never fully too white. If it has to do with the whiteness of this back cover, I'm going to be very curious about the next one, because these come from the same collection, the same batch. The other one, I already told you, is the same number one Spider-Man, but not the same actual book, and, and, and not even the same in the sense that it's the same copy, obviously. But, I mean, not even, it's a variant. So you can already guess. Now it's not platinum. It's nothing super exciting. Uh, it's it's the green cover, okay? But it's the one I got 9.8 on. And after having looked at the other cover, 
I'm really curious to see the whiteness on the back cover of this in comparison because to figure out why did this one why did this one get a 9.4 and this one got a 9.8? I have to take this out of the bag too. I want to be careful here, especially I don't want to damage my only 9.8 batch. <laughs> but uh, can you tell much difference? I know on the lighting on video, especially lighting here, isn't going to be the best. There's really not much, and I think that's what this, on the notes, they did give me notes, I think it's a tanning too, and you look at this, and I don't, I don't see much difference. Never mind, though, I'm glad I got 9.8 in the batch somehow. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so, am I going to be picky? Is this OCD here? No, I'll be picky and putting it in the same bag it came in. Even though there's no distinguishing marks on the on the outer bag. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's the collection of books that I sent, the 10, 10 issues, and got graded. I will say, like I said, positively, I do got positive things to say, which I've said throughout the video about it. A, the turnaround time for me in this case wasn't too bad. I didn't have to do nothing special. Like I said, I sent them out raw and obviously raw. But I didn't, I didn't ask them to do pressing or do pre-screening or do any, anything other than just simply grade the damn book. And so I had them grade the books as is, as they were sent in. And, I, um, and, and they were all modern age books. So they have to have, they, they do distinguish between the grades or how they grade them. Uh, so, so basically I made it as simple as I could. So doing so did get me the books in less than two months time. So that was a, so there's a positive. Other positive, as far as I could tell, there was no, I didn't see, unless I was glancing over it while we were talking, but I didn't see any Newton rings. So they had no Newton rings. The, none of the cases seemed to be damaged, uh, even though, the, like I said, I heard a little snapping sound on a couple when I pulled them out. But once I did that, as you saw, they didn't make it again. So I just think that was securing it. It does something in the factory then. Get quite done right. Here's the. I'm gonna re recycle this <laughs> for my own shipments. But here's the. Uh, here's the boxes that protect the book while they're inside. And I think that's nice. They they have pretty good solid boards there to protect it. But anyway, yeah. So that that is my unboxing video. I'm gonna lift this camera up as I talk to you. That is the unboxing video with uh, with my stack there. Whoops. Of uh, of those titles and all, and um, so like I said, how would I rate my experience? It's not a bad experience overall. Like again, the the books actually got to me in nice shape and all that. They got to me quick. Um, again, uh, yeah, everybody wants a nine point eight or higher, and I thought some of those based off of those other videos I saw, where they I, I watched a number of videos where they tell you what's allowed with nine point eight. And more than one of those videos, and they were all pretty consistent on what they allowed. I think those Wolverines that were 9.6s should have got 9.8s. I really, but everybody, of course, wants their stuff to get better stuff anyway. I'm flipping the camera on you. Ooh, I'm hot. But um, but you know, it's it, it, 9.6 ain't bad. It's still a nine, it's still a near mint plus technically. I think 9.4 and 9.2 are or uh, considered. I think just near mint, near mint. Period. And so, so it's not bad. Um, won't get me the premium I needed to get. No, <laughs> no. Uh, and so it was, it was interesting. I didn't expect, I honestly didn't expect the Spider-Mans uh, to get 9.8s. I didn't know that they would get, I thought they'd get in the near mint range still, but I didn't expect 9.8. So one of them getting 9.8 is very interesting. And again, comparing it to the other one, trying to see, okay, what? Because the other one's 9.4. So it wasn't, it, it went down a couple of notches there. And I'm like, what is the distinction? I see very slight, very slight imperfections on that 9.4, but but if one of the things that they consider is fading or, or not fading, but sh uh, shade, uh, whatever, if they consider that, that's you know, like I said, I, I, I looked at both the back covers close to right there, just may go and don't really see much distinction. Um, so it is what it is, and uh, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching this. I'm going to end this just under a half hour. So, um, I, hopefully you stuck through it all if you were curious enough to see what I had and listen to me ramble about it. 
uh, it may not be, it may be the last thing you see. Like I said, the only thing uh, that might keep me going is if they, if they give me some kind of credit for that book that I'm involved with. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. So, uh, other than if I pick them up in a collection, uh, I, you know, as a dealer, I'll pick up collections. I'm not going to turn away graded books, you know, but I'm, but seeing my own batch, uh, I don't know if I'm going to worry about in the future. So, thanks for watching, and I appreciate it. Yay!